Kelly, you see the numbers. Yeah, Yamaguchi Falco comes into this fight six foot one, three inch height advantage over uh, Damian Benelli. Both guys came in at the 168 pound super middleweight limit. Reach, you know, three inch advantage for Yamaguchi Falco. Not going to, you know, make too much of a difference. His in incredible amateur pedigree and uh, good boxing skill should be the uh, telltale sign, sign in this fight, Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, now making his way to the ring, Damian Bonelli. This marks pro boxing bout number 35 of Damian Bonelli's career. That has seen him fight in six countries. Tonight marks his fourth bout in the United States. Benelli said, I am always training. I am always in shape. At this stage of my life, boxing for me is fun. Absolutely no pressure. And he looked the part yesterday in the fighting meetings, huh, Sean? He looked like uh, a guy who walks around as a fitness trainer. He said, in my house, I have a gym. Um, I'm my own nutritionist. I do everything. I'm in shape all the time, so I don't have to get ready if I stay ready. And now, please welcome his opponent, Yamaguchi Falco! Yamaguchi Falco, representing his home nation Brazil, was a bronze medalist in boxing at the 2012 Summer Olympics. At this point, he's had an outstanding pro career. 20 victories, one loss, one draw, one no contest. Nine knockouts in those 20 victories. Six of those nine KOs coming inside of two rounds. He definitely has power at 168 pounds. He's got power, Sean, but I think his main thing that he brings to the ring, he's got a very high boxing IQ. He's been in with a lot of top, top, top guys at an amateur level, world level amateur uh, amateur uh, champions. And as a professional, he's faced some very good opponents already. Had a loss a couple years ago to Christopher Pearson. He said he had a kind of a rough training camp on that one but since then he's hit the reset button he's ready to uh um you know take the second stage of his career a lot more serious back we go to jeff houston ladies and gentlemen from the Caribbean royale orlando we are now set for the co main event scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing for the naba gold super middleweight championship our three judges at ringside tina griffith David Dijon, Thomas Nardone, and our referee in charge of the action at the bell, Chris Young. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black. His official weight, 168 pounds. His veteran's record stands at 24 victories, 20 big wins coming by way of knockout opposite 10 defeats. From Ramon Mejia, Buenos Aires, Argentina. Here is Damian El Pochero Bonelli. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears white trimmed in the proud colors of Brazil. His official weight, 166.8 pounds. He also holds a veteran's record of 20 victories, nine wins coming by way of knockout, opposite one defeat and one draw. In 2012, London, England, he took home an Olympic bronze medal. Here is the current WBC Latino Continental Super Middleweight Champion and the current WBC Feta Carib Super Middleweight Champion from St. Petersburg, Florida, by way of Sera Espirito Santo, Brazil. Here is Yamabushi. It's a clean fight. We my commands of all time. Take sales all the time. It's for the NBA title. Our job is to enforce the music count to and y'all to the judges. Let's touch them up. Final words from the always outstanding boxing referee and also bare knuckle fighting referee Chris Young. 
Yamaguchi Falco said, I want a fast start. I think I can overwhelm Damian Benelli quickly and get him out of there. Are you ready? Benelli said, are you ready? he has an Olympic style. It's very technical. Oh. Nothing I haven't seen before. Round number one. White trucks with the Brazilian flag for Falco. Black trucks for Bonelli. Good right jab from Falco to start the very first round. Coming up, setting that pace. Letting Bonelli know, hey, look, this is my fight. And uh, you're going to fight at my pace. You see him uh, on the front foot being aggressive already. Sean. Good punch. Big jab, big body shot indeed. Look to the body with that left hand from the southpaw stance. Into the pocket comes Bonelli. And to his credit, Sean, Bonelli has been in with a lot of very good prospects and a lot of very good fighters guys who you know are going on to that championship level guys who are in the middle of the road maybe a little before they got to that championship level so Benelli's seen a lot of very good styles and he's not the most offensive guy but he does know how to protect himself in there so it's Falco's job to go in there and uh, make him decide he doesn't want to continue this fight that was a low blow recognized by referee Chris Young not even a flinch from Damian Bonelli he hasn't seemed bothered by anything all week. He wasn't. He saw him in the fighter meetings. His demeanor, he is very calm. You know, it's it's impossible not to like the guy. But he's like, look, I have fun in the ring. I've seen things he's never seen. And I'm going to, um, you know, take control in there. And and uh, he's the one who's got to come in and fight the great fight. I don't have any pressure. He's got all the pressure, and that's difficult. It was an awkward swing and a miss from Falco. Falco in that southpaw stance. That was it. Stiff jab on the turn. Bonelli now stepping in with the right hand. The shot from Benelli. You see a very unorthodox Benelli, and sometimes when you're a good amateur like Falco, it's very tough to get those guys who punch from different angles than you're used to, um, those high-level amateur fighters and those, those really good pros. You get a rugged guy from South America who shoots those overhand rights, lead left hooks, very unconventional. can be very tough to defend. Stalemate, center of the ring. 110 remaining, round number one of our co-main. Leaping in with the naked right hand. Falco now stepping into the gap with the right hand. There's the straight left hand. Got him with a good check right hook, Sean, a second ago, and that got the attention of uh, Benelli. Benelli left himself open, leaping in with that right hand without the jab set up. Double jab now from Falco. One thing you never want to do as a fighter, Sean, is let your feet leave the canvas. Those feet always need to be uh, planted firmly so you can get power, so you can make a defensive move. Good left hand from Falco in the corner. Benelli just shrugs, throws the left to get another naked right hand. Falco seems surprised by that punch. Long jab now from Damian Bonelli. First round, both guys seem pretty relaxed, pretty posed. Nobody's uh, seems too uptight. You see Falco kind of settling in, but the awkwardness of uh, Benelli makes it makes it uh, a little difficult for Falco to really impose his will early on. See the rangefinder jab from Benelli, sticking his left arm out, just setting the range. Good left hand from Falco, a second to go. Final seconds, round number one, Yamaguchi Falco versus Damian Bonelli. And round one looked pretty good, Sean, for Falco. He was able to get out there, set up his, uh, his left hand in the body, shoot a couple big right hooks. I would like to see him not load up quite so much, look to get that right jab going a little more and walking uh, Benelli in those shots instead of loading up. That was your round. Let's go. Let's go. Seconds out called, set for round number two. Colin Fox referee Chris Young again leaping in. This time with the left hand is Damian Bonelli. And made Falcon take a backward step. Bonelli with the right hand. Good overhand right, very awkward. You see him kind of lunge in with the left shoulder, kind of look down at the same time he shoots the overhand right. It kind of makes Falco think, hey, look, here comes the left hand because that's a conventional punch. Nope, here comes the overhand right. And, uh, you know, definitely got the attention of Falco, even though it wasn't a clean shot. Bonelli initiating that clinch. Very veteran move. What's this at his pace? And you can tell definitely by the, a stop-start, BJ. You can tell by the temperament of Benelli, he doesn't want Falco to get in any kind of rhythm. He wants to stand on the outside, lunge in with awkward punches, and kind of keep Falco off him. If you're in the corner of Falco, he said, look, get your get your right hand, get your right jab going, attack that body, take that body. Don't even worry about the head. Just attack that body and get him used to that, and then later in the rounds, we'll bring up the headshots and uh, we'll make him pay. Benelli again throwing the two without the one. There's a lead left hook. Straight left hand right back from Yamaguchi Falco. And that's the key punch right there, Sean. That's the punch he got to land if he wants to set up those power shots. Good left hand from uh, Benelli. Bolo punch 
Rich with the rear right hand from Benelli. Falco, I guarantee you, BJ, in his high-level sparring, just does not see this in the gym. <laughs> you might have seen it in his early professional days, uh, you know, from the streets of Brazil. You know, he kind of came up uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, an area, a geographical area, where a lot of raw fighters, a lot of tough fighters from Brazil, you see guys like Asselino Freitas. Uh, not too many champions came out of Brazil, but, um, you know, Falco shows a lot of poise for, for being from that country. Right hook to the body. Ten right back. Falco trying to turn up the intensity. Benelli dipping his head in, getting the break. Again, a veteran move. And again, though, Sean, from Falco, it's just too much head hunting. He's got to go to the body and focus on those shots downstairs to set up the head shots. He's uh, looking for the knockout. Sweeping left hand from Benelli, then the right hand. Counter left hand by Falco, again, into the clinch. 55 seconds remaining, round number two. And you can see why Benelli survives these fights. It's the kind of fight he likes. Stay on the outside. Falco gets a little bit of a rhythm. Then he jumps in with that awkward shot, that right hand, that lead left hook, and uh, keeps just enough distance to get through these rounds. So Falco's got to step up, step on the gas in the next few rounds to get this guy out of here. Shades of Zaire, 1974. You see Bonelli laying back on the ropes, baiting in Falco. Good right jab from Falco. That's the shot. Good right hand. Benelli sweeping again, throwing a lot of twos without the one is Damian Benelli in this fight. Stop start tempo, continually disrupting the timing of Yamaguchi Falco. Closing stage is round number two. Good right hand from Benelli. He got caught with a good left hand on the counter shot from Falco. Good left hand and the right hand to follow from Falco just before the bell that ends the second round. Kid's tough, Sean. He came to fight, and uh, he didn't get the memo that uh, he was supposed to be an early knockout victim of the silver, which are the bronze medalist. Let's take a look back and right in round number two, and we see both fighters trying to set up a good overhand right from Benelli. Caught Falco against the ropes, caught him kind of out of position to do anything, and then later in the round we see Falco with a nice, straight, stiff right jab. That's the punch on that he's got to get going if he wants to be successful to land those power shots. More good work from both fighters. Uh, Good counter left hand from Falco in the end, being patient there, showing some veteran experience and uh, really time Benelli with that left hand. Books. Start of round number three, a right hand. More intensity, a bit more urgency from Yamaguchi Falco to start round number three than we saw at the starts of round one and two. That's the punch I want to see right there, Sean, that left hand of the body. Little touch jab, strip jab up top, and then that left hand of the body to get change levels and get Benelli to start thinking, hey, I'm coming downstairs, and then later in the rounds, we come upstairs and put the lights out. More head movement from Falco thus far in round three than we've seen in either round one or round two. And the head movement does two things, Sean. It stops Benelli from punching so much, and it makes him a more difficult target to hit. So two things he's accomplishing right now by moving that head as it's coming forward. Limiting the offense of Benelli and also making it more difficult to hit. Left on the inside. Falco now stepping into the pocket. Circling out is Benelli. Benelli stepping in with the right hand again. Benelli has been finding a home for that right hand without the jab set up. And a right hand right back from Yamaguchi Falco. Benelli caught him with a big overhand right on the top of the head. And that's that awkward shot I'm talking about. That kind of Ricardo Mayorga type Nicaraguan South American power that he brought. And uh, you know, that was a big shot. Falco came back nicely with a stiff right jab. But uh, he's got to be careful. Most of the power from Falco has been in the one, his right hand from the southpaw stance. We've not seen a lot of power shots with his left hand thus far in this fight, PJ. Good body shots right there, and that's what I'm looking for from the young Falco. Go to the body of Benelli, forget about the head. Make him set his feet, make him go downstairs and protect down low, and then bring it up top. Better that's round for Yamaguchi Falco. Not that he didn't win rounds one and two, but winning more decisively in round three. And on that, on cue, he takes the overhand right. Another overhand right from Damian Bonelli. Big right hand from Bonelli. And look, he, he told us yesterday, I'm going to come in to win the fight. And he's fighting like a fighter who didn't show up for a payday. He actually wants to win. He's trying to win the big shot and uh, get Falco out of here. Nothing on that left hook from Bonelli. 
Michael again. There's that hard jackhammer right hand. A lot of power in that jab. And that's that jab I'm talking about off that back leg, pushing and getting that power from the lower half, using that right jab as a tool, not only just a range finder to set up the left hand, but as a power stiff jab when he activates his legs like that. Very good shot from uh, Falco. Down jab from Falco. You're the call and stop from referee Chris I'm Young. Don't hold his hand down, okay? Fight clean, baby. Box. Well done from Chris Young. Decisive, right back to it. No histrionics. 25 seconds remaining, round three. Benelli again leaping in with the right hand. That's a push, a slip. Ruled correctly as such by Chris Young. Box. You see the awkwardness of Benelli leaping in with those hard power shots. Falco's got to keep working his shot, keep working his, his jab, and uh, start the time whenever Benelli tries to jump in. Good left hand in that sequence. Left jab from Damian Benelli. We're through three rounds. We will move to round four. Start around number four. To the surprise of no one, a leaping right hand from Damian Benelli. Certainly not to the surprise of Yamaguchi Falco. Benelli has been opening up, throwing a lot of power right hands. Big left hand from Falco a second ago, and something he did very smart, Sean. When he shot the left hand, he maintained his range and didn't fall in. He, he allowed, uh, allowed him to keep uh, punching. Low blow there a second ago. Time called by Chris Young on the low blow. Canelli now has up to five minutes to recover. You got five minutes. You ready? All right. takes about five seconds right back to it. And starts back with a leaping left hook. Benelli is a fun fighter. He is, and he told us that yesterday. He said, look, I'm going to go in there and have fun, and this is one of the few times where a fighter actually does exactly what he said he's going to do in the fighter meetings. Love it. Falco trying to rip through all of the awkwardness, all of the unconventional movement, punches, setups of Dami and Benelli. And that's, Sean, that's the range right there where Benelli is safe. He's able to get in. He's able to, you know, get a clinch. You know, Falco can't look at the referee to save him there and, and, and break up the action. He's got to he's got to make force the issue and use that right forearm to gain distance as that measure to really keep Benelli at range right there to where Benelli's unable to tie him up when he gets in these rhythms. Big right hooks there. with the right hand to the head from Benelli after Falco was hooking hard to the body. Falco needs to step right to him now, not give him time to relax and reset. Again, don't fall in right here. Good. Keep that range. Use that right forearm and that right hand as a measure to put Benelli right back where he wants him. Slight swelling under Benelli's right eye. Has been a jackhammer jab from Falco throughout this fight thus far. 125 remaining round four. It hasn't been enough though, Sean. He needs to be more consistent with that right jab. He's able to land it almost every time he shoots it at will and it just hasn't been enough. I'd like to see that jab another 15 to 20 times per round. Well, we just saw a 2-3-3 three, three combo from Damian Benelli. <laughs> Not what I'm guessing you're teaching in the gym. <laughs> he comes with some weird angles. Good shot by Benelli. He's got to love the guy's fighting spirit. There's that rear right uppercut, almost a bolo punch again. The thing for Benelli is that it's working. He has accomplished 24 wins in his pro boxing career. Good right hook left hand by uh, Falco a second ago. That hurt Benelli. Again. Right here, Sean, is where he's got to maintain that range and that distance. Put Benelli where he wants him to really punish him. Board pressure again from Yamaguchi Falco. Now 35 seconds remaining. Good rear left hand to the body from the Brazilian Falco. Getting late here in round number four. Now you see Benelli starting to get a little sloppy right here. It's round four, middle middle stages of the fight. This is where you, you can really start to take advantage of these middle of the road guys. Falco has got to use his right jab now. He can hit him at will if he'll walk in and use that right jab as a battering ram and use it to set up the left hand of the body. Benelli claimed that he took the accidental headbutt fight on from Chris Young. Just a ball of watch the heads. That's the end of the round. And looking in the corner of Yamaguchi okay. Falco, I'm sure his trainer is encouraging him to let his hands now, go, keep that range, keep that distance, and allow himself to land those power shots. Don't let Benelli get in there and tie him up. Don't let him clinch. Make the older fighter maintain that fat, that's fat pace, that fast pace. See a left hand of the body right there. Definitely got a little low underneath the belt of uh, Benelli. He didn't take much uh, much time to recover, though, did he, Sean? First low blow in round number one. He didn't even flinch. <laughs> on that time called by Chris Young, five seconds on the clock, five minutes on the clock. He took about five seconds and right back to it. And then re-entered with a leaping left hook. Round number five. And this is the pace, the temperament, and the type of, you know, the type of... Uh, 
the way Falco's coming out at the beginning of this round, the demeanor, this is where he needs to be right here. Head moving, head off the center, sliding in. Big left hand right Big left hand. Hardy shot landed this fight. Benelli's hurt, and he's got to press the issue. Falco's got to make him miss one more time. Touch Benelli to the body and, and reinforce, hey, look, you're hurt, and I'm going to show you that. Left hand again. Benelli, perhaps if that was in the center of the ring, would have gone down, fell right back into the ropes, but not dramatically enough for Chris Young to rule and knock down a save by the ropes because Benelli's ropes were ropes four and three, the top two ropes. Had it been on the lower ropes, possibly would have been ruled as a knockdown, but just simply too close to the ropes. But the end result, that was a hard left hand by Falco. Good straight left hand. He set it up with the lead right hand, got Benelli to reach, and then he dropped the left hand right down the pipe. Good shot and good body shot. That's what I want to see out of Falco right now. Breaking down. Falco has looked in this fight. Counter on the left hand and the right hand by Benelli. Benelli firing back after taking big punishment. Left hand from Falco, right hand from Benelli, right uppercut. Now this is where Falco. Coach Sean needs to stay calm and stay relaxed, stay poised. Don't get rushed, don't get rattled by the more experienced fighter, and just continue to land his straight shots and not, not get caught up in the crowd. Stay relaxed. We've seen Falco open up and then Benelli throwing right back, finding those gaps as the Argentine dummy and Benelli. No risk and reward. 70 seconds remaining round number five. The overhand right from Falco. The jab, step in right hand, counter right hand. Good shot there from uh, Falco a second ago. He needs to start timing uh, Benelli when he jumps in like that. We're in round five now, and he's got to take advantage of a, an experienced fighter. Or not necessarily an experienced fighter, but a fighter who's making a tactical and fundamental error by jumping in like that. Falco, with his level of experience, he needs to start timing Benelli when he jumps in. And on jab, the right hand from Benelli. The hard one right back from the southpaw stands for Falco. And Falco looks a little armware here to me, Sean. He does. He hasn't done anything in about 30 seconds. He emptied the clip a little bit on that combination when he thought he hurt Benelli, and he's, he hasn't done much in the last 45 seconds. Benelli suddenly a lot more rolls, level changes than we've seen in this fight. Seen with the rear left uppercut is Yamaguchi Falco into the jab. The most exhausting thing in, in boxing, Sean, is to miss power punches and miss big punches. If Falco would go to the body, he wouldn't miss those punches and uh, he'd find a lot more accuracy. To the halfway line of our main event, final seconds, round number five, step in left hook from Benelli. Falco with his back against the ropes. Next stop, round six. Good end of the round for Benelli. He really turned on the gas there and uh, you just gotta love the fighting spirit of the 43-year-old fighter. Let's take a peek back in the beginning of round five and see what Falco trying to do. Little single jab up top, straight left hand of the body, excellent punch against the southpaw. Little touch jab there, right hook, and drop the left hand straight down the pipe. Really got the attention of uh, Bellini. More good punches from Falco, really changing his uh, angles. Great punch selection. See the right hook, you see the left uppercut, you see the overhand left, really opening up uh, Benelli. And again, BJ, if that left hand is in the center of the ring, I think there's a good chance Benelli goes down. Now, referees are instructed, if you feel that the ropes yeah. stop a yes. knockdown, then you rule a knockdown, but it's impossible for Chris Young to tell in that situation. Correct, yeah, it was kind of a spur of the moment call, and I think Chris Young, you know, calls it a knockdown, doesn't call it a knockdown, I think, uh, you know, we still got the same fight. Falco still up on the scorecards, and Benelli needs to do something dramatic. At this point, 10-9, 10-8 probably does not matter. Correct. But again, for Yamaguchi Falco, we talked about it. Serena Morales at the beginning of our broadcast. This isn't just about winning for the Olympic bronze medalist from the 2012 London Games, Yamaguchi Falco. It's about winning with authority, with emphasis. And he's landed some good shots, Sean. He's doing well. He just, uh, I would like to see him, like I said, get the right jab going a little more, staying calm and, and, and composed in those pockets whenever uh, Benelli's lunging at him and timing Benelli when he jumps in, not just allowing him to shoot the punches and then get his distance. Benelli being a bit playful, waving the right hand, lead left uppercut to the body. Right to the body now from Falco. Benelli being a little more playful, you see the slips, the rolls, perhaps sensing some frustration from his Brazilian opponent, Yamaguchi Falco. Cross arm defense now from the Argentine, Damian Benelli. And you see Benelli, he's so awkward on the inside, but he's not really too comfortable in there either. He's better at range leaping in. He's not exactly sure where to put his head, where to put his feet to land those short, 
uh, crisp shots on the inside. Falco's getting more work done on the in close. Falco this time claiming accidental butt of heads. Fight off says Chris Young. But that's what happens when you face an awkward guy like Benelli jumping in with the, with the lunging overhand rights, the long left hooks. Very unorthodox, and heads come together, especially when you got a southpaw against an orthodox fighter. Benelli get pawing with the left hand, loading up with the right. That looked low. Nothing from Chris Young, nothing from Falco. <laughs> One, two, right back from the Amaguchi Falco. That was effective and a snap jab from Benelli. It was, and you know what? This is one of those fights, Sean, where maybe it's not super close on the scorecards, but it's a competitive fight. You know, Benelli's definitely in the fight. He's got the attention of the crowd and the attention of us with some of those power shots. Sweeping right hand from Falco. Good right hand. Good jab. Now 60 seconds remaining. Round six of our co-main at stake. The currently vacant NABA gold super middleweight title. I want you to take a peek. Good left hand by Falco a second ago. Take a peek at Benelli when he's coming forward over that lead left leg. He's in position to be hit with uppercuts from Falco. If Falco will take that little step back or lean back, he can leverage those uppercuts when he's got the fighter on his front leg like that. Very difficult to get out of the way of those punches whenever you're so intent on coming forward like Benelli is right here. Pick him off with those jab uppercuts, hook uppercut. Right hand uppercut, any of those shots will hit a fighter like Benelli coming in and being so aggressive. Falco stepping in, now looking to turn Benelli. Benelli putting his back off of the ropes, trying to push the fight back to the center of the ring. Forward pressure from Falco. Falco, there's a big left hand. Another left hand on the downward punch. Right hand, right back. Falco again trying to turn up the pressure. Next stop, round seven. Start of round number seven. Jab to the body from Damian Benelli. Diversion jab now you see from Falco. Fainting with the left, fainting in on the instep. And Sean, now we're at the stage of the fight where, you know, round seven, eight, nine, and ten, Falco's got four rounds left. He really needs to step on the gas and be a little more consistent if he wants to get Benelli out of here. Look, Benelli's shown he's tough as nails, but he doesn't have the skill set Falco has, so Falco needs to be aggressive, keep touching him with that left hand of the body, keep attacking the body, and then bringing the short uppercuts on the inside when he gets close because Benelli won't have a defense for that. BJ, if Yamaguchi Falco is your fighter in this situation between round six and seven, are you really encouraging him to turn it up, push for the knockout? I am, because he's got to make a statement. He does. And uh, the, the reason why I'm doing that is because I know my guy's got a higher skill set. I know he can go out there and, and do the right things. He's just getting the getting the rust off. And, uh, you know, I would encourage my fighter to get close, land the short shots, don't load up. Touch the body, finish up top, just like that right there. And then after you hit him, don't give him 15, 20 seconds to recover and recoup himself and reset. Go right back to him again. That's Benelli shook his head on the body shot, lands a glancing left hand, another jab from Damian Benelli. We'll bounce in the step of Yamaguchi Falco here in round seven, since we've seen from the early stages of this fight. We see the jam a low blow, we fight on. The right jab of Falco is starting to frustrate Benelli a little bit, and that's the shot. It, that's what good fighters do. Round six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, they get that punch going, still use it just like the first round. Good left hand from Falco. Falco now turning up the pressure. Big sequence on the inside. Benelli nods his head in the affirmative, keeps his hands high and tight in that high guard. Overhand right, another overhand right to the counter left hand from Benelli. Benelli now stepping forward. Falco's hurt. He definitely caught Falco on the counter. Falco now with his back against the ropes. Benelli opening up. And but Falco got caught in a situation. situation. Got caught in a situation where he had the guy hurt, didn't take his time, and rushed a very dangerous Benelli. And he caught him with a hard shot. He hurt Falco. Falco's still in trouble here. Benelli a right hand, right hand. The blood in the water. Good left hand from Falco. Timed it perfectly on that shot. Benelli walked into that left hand. Acknowledged in the affirmative. Keeps coming forward off the left hook. Up jab now from Damian Benelli. Huge momentum swing in our co-main here in round seven. It was off the counter that Bonelli is having his best round in the fight. I say it. Ten seconds. We got ourselves a fight, Sean. Fight on indeed, BJ. Final seconds, round number seven. We will move to round eight. Wow. 
And so and that's something you don't expect to see. You don't expect to see the guy, you know, the 43-year-old fighter coming off a four-year layoff able to land a shot that would hurt an Olympic bronze medalist, a 20 and one guy. Let's take a look at the replay. Beautiful double jab up top, left hand of the body, really opening Benelli up here on the ropes. But one thing Falco did, he, when he looks back on this, he's gonna regret. He kind of wasted a lot of shots there. Here we see Benelli setting up, right uppercut, left hook, lands another left hook, unorthodox punches, another shot on top of the head. Right hand kind of cuffing shot behind the gloves of uh, Falco. And, uh, you know, Falco's a little arm weary here, Sean. He, and Benelli took advantage of it. You got to give credit to this guy. <laughs> You hear the seconds out whistle, BJ. It's all risk and reward again. Yamaguchi Falco knows that he's comfortably up on the judges' scorecards. Tries to open up, looking for the finish, caught on the counter, and rocked for the first time in this fight, now to round eight. And if I'm in the corner of Benelli, I'm going to tell him, look, we're way down on the scorecards. I want you to come out very aggressive and assert yourself in the first part of this round eight and see if Falco's still hurt. And uh, that's not what we're seeing from Benelli. His style is more to sit back, take advantage of uh, Falco after he shoots shots and lunge in with awkward shots, and uh, he's, he's not he's not putting his foot on the gas at all. What Yamaguchi Falco is trying to show in this fight is that he is ready for the next step to become a world title challenger, 168 pounds. What Damian Benelli is trying to show in this fight is that he is still relevant to the sport of boxing. And I mean, if we look at the 168 pound division, Sean, you look at the guys like, you know, obviously Canelo Alvarez, the number one, Dimitri Bibble fighting uh, Canelo Alvarez, that's up at 175. And then you got guys like David Benavidez, you got guys like Caleb Plant. Um, to say Yamaguchi Falco's ready for those kind of guys, he's not. I, mean, I don't see it at all. But um, you know, there's a there's a lower tier of guys that he could he could fight now. But I do not see him ready for the the Benavides, the Caleb Plants, and you know, with all due respect to Yamaguchi Falco, those guys are very good fighters. So um, I just feel like he's uh, he's not quite there yet. And we're talking about calling out the biggest names. Center of the ring jab to the body from Damian Benelli. Now the right hand. <laughs> And this is one of those fights for Falco where, you know, you might see some of the champions start to call him out after this. Or some of the guys who are rated rated highly where Falco showed just enough vulnerability that's going to be like, look, you know, we'll take him. He's an Olympic medalist. He's got a great pedigree, great record. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take our chances. So this could be a blessing in disguise for Falco. Falco sweeping on the overhand right. Cross on defense from Benelli. Dropping level sporting touch of gloves. Apology for Falco on what was perceived as a big punch. Good body shot on the outside, but again, we're not seeing any shots up the middle from Falco. There's a nice little left uppercut right when I said it, and he did it, but he's got to shoot those uppercuts whenever uh, Benelli's coming in like that. Benelli dipping his head to get to the inside. Good right jab again from Falco. For me, BJ, that's been his best punch in this fight. Sweeping left hand, up jab with the left hand, now right hand from Damian Benelli. Nice Back right to the and Benelli's legs are still fresh. Look at him. He's shooting he heavy, big shots. He's got Falco on the ropes again. Nice check right hook from Falco. But, you know, Benelli's got to get in there and really, you know, push the issue if he wants to win this fight. 25 seconds remaining, round number eight. Another good round for Benelli. Really was. Falco did a lot of good work early on, but, you know, Benelli had about a minute there where he really uh, took charge. Good short right hook from Falco. Check right hook on the lead from Yamaguchi Falco. Moving to deep water in our co-main event, Yamaguchi Falco, Damian Benelli. Gets up for round nine. Great action, round number eight. Take a look at the replay. You see a beautiful right hook to the body set up by a one-two up top. Bring the elbows of Benelli up in. Falco drops the right hand of the body. Good clean combination punching from Falco there. And later in the round, Benelli started to get his range. Awkward punches, two uppercuts followed by a left hook, and then again another uppercut. Standard boxers, uh, amateur boxers and professional boxers are not used to seeing combinations like that, and that's where Benelli uh, has some success. When you throw the 
awkward punches, the creative punches of Damian Benelli. You're either very experienced or very inexperienced. In the case of Benelli, of course, very experienced. This is pro boxing bout number 36 of his career. And you see the experience, Sean. We talked about it early in, uh, you know, rounds one and two. I mean, the guy's been in there with a lot of good fighters, up-and-coming prospects, fighters who are get, just getting ready to cross that bridge from, bridge from contender to, uh, uh, or, you know, from prospect to contender. And he's seen it all. So uh, I guess he didn't really see, see anything from Falco tonight that impressed him too much. Good left uppercut. That's the punch I'm talking about. Falco needs to get going if he wants to have more success. 15 remaining, round number nine. There's a good left hand from Falco. Straight right hand from Falco. Benelli walked into that with his hands low. You see when Benelli comes in with the guard up like that, full guard, it sounds crazy, but Falco needs to touch, bring gloves on the outside, shoot the little short right hook, and then the left uppercut right up the middle, it will land. There's no defense for that, even with the gloves up. An invert spinning back fist from Damian Benelli. No warning from Chris Young. That was certainly not his intent. Good left hand from Falco. Almost the up jab. Good right to body the body, shots. right to the body on the hook. Very good shots. And now is the point where Falco can start good left hand again. He can start to shoot the jab up top, come down like he's shooting the left of the body, and bring the left of the head and surprise Benelli, and then bring the right hook of the body. Not a Changing cut, levels. But a lot of swelling in the left brow for Damian Benelli. And you see Benelli here in round number 10. He's starting to be the aggressor. He's pushing the issue. And uh, I'm sure that's not what they wanted to see in the corner of Falco. No missing with the overhand right. Back into the pocket comes Donnie and Benelli to the right hand on the counter to the body. Clubbing left hook, landing from Benelli on Falco. Falco now looking to counter with his back against the ropes. Falco trying to be playful. Benelli answers with the straight jab. Left hook and 10 from Damian Benelli. Benelli to the inside. 45 seconds remaining round nine. Stop, start, stop, start, BJ for Damian Benelli. He is. He's making the fight really awkward, and I'm just not seeing what I need to see from Falcao to say, hey, he's ready for a guy like Demetrius Andre. He's ready for a David Benavides. He's ready for a Caleb Plant. He needs to be more consistent with the guys like Benelli. You got to get these kind of guys out of there as tough as Benelli is, and uh, Falco hasn't been able to stick to the game plan or be consistent enough long enough to uh, get the job done tonight. Still going to win the fight, but I'm just, you know, if, if I'm being a, a, a critic. You've certainly earned that right as a fighter, as a champion, as a trainer. Good left hand from Falco. Nice short overhand right. right, somewhat awkward, landed partially on the gloves. Left to the body. Up next, the 10th and final round. Taking a peek here, round number nine, setting up a shot. We got Falco. Benelli coming in with that high guard, shoots that right hook outside the gloves, drives the left hand through the guard. Good shot from Falco, setting up. His opponent, who comes in with a very high guard, another shot that will work right there is the uppercut off the right hook. Shoot the right hook, then bring the left uppercut right underneath. Mix in that right, that left uppercut and that straight left hand. Keep Benelli on the defensive. I get this. Now boxers all around, touch him. That's all. Gertz, touch him. First off of his stool for round number 10 is the Argentine Damian Benelli. The beginning of our broadcast, the debut of Monster Box on Valley Sports. DJ, you and I said, if this fight ended, unanimous decision across the board, 97-93 for Yamaguchi Falco, we wouldn't be happy. I think we might be headed to 97-93. <laughs> I think I got it more 98-92, maybe 99-91, but you know, eight rounds of two-ish. But, you know, look, Benelli's, uh, for better or for worse, he came, uh, you know, he, he put his heart on the sleeve. He really came to fight today, and he did not get the memo. Uh, I did not come to lose, and he definitely uh, tried to get Falco out of there in round number six, didn't he, Sean? Absolutely. Benelli, for me, on my very unofficial scorecard, has won at least two rounds. Yes. Falco was definitely hurt. Affected greatly by the punches, and uh, you got to give Benelli credit for that. And he's the aggressor here in round 10 again. If you're a believer in moral victories, this is what <laughs> one looks like for Damian Benelli. It's the 2012 Olympic bronze medalist from Brazil, Yamaguchi Falco. 
mean, the, the sport of boxing, Sean, teaches you not to believe anything you hear in the uh, in the fighter meetings. But uh, this is this is a rare situation where Benelli actually came in and backed up what he said he would do against a very uh, quality opponent. In our fighter meetings yesterday, Falco said, I want to be more aggressive. I've been working on that in training. I think that team will continue after this fight. And he needs to be. And he gets a guy like Benelli. It's, uh, you know, obviously very tough to, to be aggressive the entire time. But you have to take advantage of those little pockets where you catch him and hurt him and give his attention because they might not come around again. So when you get that, a seasoned pro is going to take you out. And uh, Falco still needs to work on finishing. You see nine knockouts out of 20 fights. He's not a big knockout puncher. Definitely hurts you, but you still got to work on that closing uh, closing technique. 120 remaining. Tenth and final round of our co-main. Again to the winner, the currently vacant NABA gold super middleweight title. Good left jab a second. Good oh, good on him. Overhand right. Smile on the face of Damian Benelli. Walks forward. Swelling now under the right eye of Benelli. It will not be a factor in this fight. Yeah. Nice left hook from Benelli. Pong jab again from Benelli. Loading up the two. There's the two. Spinning off his Falco. Falco, hard right jab again. And I go back to it, BJ. That, for me, has not just been his most effective punch, it's been his hardest punch. It has. It's a punch that he can land at will, and it's a punch. Good left hook from Benelli. And it's a punch that I wish he would have been a little more consistent with in the beginning if he wanted to land his power. Benelli now really opening up. 30 seconds remaining in this fight. Cross-arm defense again. Awkward overhand right on the miss from Falco. Good defense from Benelli using that cross guard and making sure to move it at the top of his head. Just an experienced, savvy move from a guy who's been uh, in there with a lot of good fighters for a lot of rounds. Smirk on the face of Benelli. Straight right hand, the left hand. Benelli stepping in again. Falco circling out. Falco misses with the left, with the right hand. Benelli, the right hand, the left. Lands the final two punches of the fight, and we are through all ten rounds of our co -main. I think I give Benelli that, that last round, Sean. I got it seven rounds to three. Uh, you know, Falco obviously doing enough to win the fight, landing uh, early, building up that early lead. But, uh, you know, <laughs> Benelli came to fight, and I'm a fan. And seven rounds to three would be 97-93. <laughs> right on the money. Where's the crystal ball, Sean? I know, but I don't hit you. We shall see. Look at this guy. He comes in here. Look at his hair. It looks exactly like it did in the first round. Benelli looks like he's already been in a fight, but uh, just the true spirit and the true heart of a champion. Went out there, was definitely not the A-side. Comes into, uh, uh, you know, hostile territory out here in the United States and uh, <laughs> to fight against a guy who everybody expected to win. And just, he really brought his best uh, best effort. you gotta, you got to give him a pat on the back. Damian Benelli has a big personality. Said he wanted to have fun. Said there's no pressure on me, but you can tell that he was not here to fall down. No knockdowns in this fight. Both fighters most definitely having their moments. Falco, though, see his technical ability, the volume really piling up. For me, sweeping certainly the first half of this fight. Definitely making it competitive and competitive in the second half of this fight. And then you see kind of some action. You see Falco timing over the top of the left jab of Benelli with an overhand right. Didn't really land too clean. Looked a little better when it happened in the fight, but uh, he was able to land that shot. And Yamaguchi Falco coming over to the, uh, this corner and acknowledging the fans that you know cheered him to victory today. So. Credit Yamaguchi Falco. Again, Benelli, very awkward opponent. Gives him a lot of looks he's just not seeing in the gym. Benelli came to fight rough, rugged, unconventional. Falco kept his calm, kept his composure, tried to stay technical. Certainly had his moments with the jab. He did. He landed a lot of good, solid right jabs. Like I said, Sean, the whole fight, didn't want to harp on it too much. A punch I wish he would have got going earlier and more consistent with. He would have seen that the power punches land a lot more often, and there's not as much missing, a lot more accuracy whenever you start with that right jab consistent to the head and the body. And the three judges assigned by the Florida Athletic Commission. Their scorecards have been totaled. Nice moment between these two fighters. We send it to Jeff Houston.
And now we go to our judges for the decision. Judge Griffith scores the fight 98-97. David DeJong scores the bout 97-93. And Thomas Nardone scores the bout 99-91 for the winner by unanimous decision and new NABA gold super middleweight champion Yamaguchi!